Okay, shrimp arugula provençal. That is just a delicious, delicious uh, dinner. I serve it over a whole wheat pasta or farro. Mm. So you will see. Oh, the phone. Um, you will see. It is just olive oil, salt, and garlic. Some wonderful wild caught. Mm, I love that one. I'm sure the phone rings. That one I turn on the, oh, the camera. Let it sizzle. Oh, oh Juju, come on. Juju now wants to be on the camera all the time. I let her do it the other day, so she's expecting it. This is my Yorkie. I just uh, Anyway, let it sizzle. Then all I'm gonna do, let it get a little brown. Uh, then I'm gonna put some um, cherry tomatoes. I slice some of them in half to you get them started in getting a little mushy. You want them to really blend in. I'm gonna do that. Wait, I wait a minute. And then look at the ton of arugula that I'm gonna use. Now don't worry, it's going to melt down in there. I mean, just, just beautiful. All that. Meanwhile, look at those beautiful rings I got. They did get them for me. Anticipation of Valentine's Day, which is not even now. Anyway, so it's going. And, okay. Cherry tomatoes. And let that get a little um, cooked. Uh, and again, I'm speeding up because I'm in front of the camera. You don't need to speed up. But it gives you an idea. I'm going to get this done basically in front of you in less than five minutes, hopefully less. Uh, a ton, a ton of arugula. That's why I have such a, a tall um, uh, pot because otherwise, you wouldn't be able to put so much. So you start out and you think, oh my God, there's just too much there. Don't you worry. It's going to really come down. If you want to speed it up on this way, you can cover it a little bit. Uh, but basically what's going to happen, is it's going to really come down to not very much, just enough, just perfect. And I keep on adding until it's just um, cooked through. And then I'm going to put some black Kalamata olives, beautiful, some fresh thyme, and then at the end, once that's all started to really get um, those juices of the tomatoes, I'm going to add a very simple marinara sauce, no added sugar, remember we've talked about this, very simple what you would expect in the marinara sauce, tomatoes, olive oil, onion, garlic, basil, and salt, basically. Um, and that's it. And there are some wonderful ones out there. I, I recommend some on, on the website. But just pick, make sure there's no sugar in the ingredients. It's starting to, to cook down. Again, I can't speed this up, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye and, and let you uh, uh, just get a feel for where it's going. But basically, it's going to cook down. I'm going to add the, the um, Kalamata olives the marinara sauce, let it simmer, and serve this over a whole wheat pasta or a nice farrow. Delicioso.